Welcome to the boating adventure. It's uh, Saturday the 15th of October 2022. We're just uh, taking a walk from the Castle Marina in Nottingham and we're going to head towards Nottingham city centre and have a good look round. So come and join us. So just outside the marina here we've got a, a beef eater restaurant which we've been told is uh, quite good isn't it? It's called the, the Boat House. They apparently do a very good uh, all you can eat breakfast for about £10 and we're told it's a very good value for money. So we're just cutting through at the side of the Wayfarer and that brings you onto the canal towpath. And if we could turn right on the canal towpath that'll eventually lead us closer to the city. Should bring you out just below the train station. Yeah, near to the train station. Okay, so there's the marina over there. These are some uh, public moorings here. We've uh, moored here once before when we've made the trip up to Newark. Uh, it's quite handy to stay here and get petrol from Sainsbury's, which is probably about five minutes away. Not sure how long you can stay here for, there doesn't seem to be any signs. Doesn't say, does it? Might be further down. Yeah, there might be another sign somewhere. But... There's a lovely uh, yacht here, just past this narrowboat. Still got the uh, rigging and everything. That's brilliant. Cersei. I love that. <laughs> Cersei. It's a nice yeah. Hello, boss. Hello. 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 He doesn't like that. He doesn't like the camera. <laughs> He didn't like the camera. <laughs> it's gonna make him famous. Hello. <laughs> There's a nice uh, big old wooden cruiser here. All oh, right, so there, the 48-hour moorings. Steve's just found the, the post with it on.
I do like that, but it needs some uh, work done. There's a few holes in the side there. Never moored up here overnight. I know people who have and they say it's okay. It's uh, far enough out of the uh, city centre and all the nightlife not to cause too many problems. viewers um, it's a dawn craft dandy of course it's amazing how many of these uh, you see out on the canal still there are plenty of moorings along here aren't there Yeah, I mean, there's more more in here than there was in Leicester. I mean, Leicester was basically two pontoons, really. Yeah. So just up there in the background is Nottingham Castle. It's maybe not what you expect of a castle. It's more like an a stately home on a mound, really. But that's the site of the Nottingham Castle. It's a museum now. It's a long time since I've been in there. And I know that they spent quite a bit of time and money uh, doing it up a bit. So there's another view of the castle on the hill. Now we've got quite a mix here of new flats and some of the old warehouses have been turned into living accommodation by the look of it. There's a lot of students in Nottingham, two universities, so a lot of these will be uh, lets for students. So we're just coming up to a lock. We did this one, didn't we? Yeah, both of us. <laughs> I remember it. There were a lot of people watching, <laughs> a lot of uh, gongoozlers, which always makes you a little bit nervous. <laughs> no, we hadn't had the boat very long, so we were kind of like a little bit novice at it. But doing a lock in the centre of a city is a bit, a bit daunting sometimes. Yeah, there's a, a pub outside and that's where lots of people were sitting enjoying a pint while we uh, struggled to get through the lock. Surprisingly called the navigation as well. The navigation. I wonder where I've they got... seen that before. No, I wonder where they get that name from. Very original. <laughs> There's a British Waterways building at the back there. Still got this British Waterways signage. So that's an interesting warehouse there.
This is uh, Wilford Street Bridge, number 10. Just over there is a, a Fellows Morton and Clayton warehouse and it says underneath Canal Museum so I'm not sure about that. That's the Nottingham train station there with the clock tower. So there's quite a lot of uh, new development in uh, Nottingham at the moment. This used to be the old Broadmash um, bus uh, station. So it's been rebuilt now. And the whole of the Broadmash shopping centre was demolished. And they're still in the throes of uh, putting something else there in its place. They've been doing this quite a while, haven't they? We were certainly here last Christmas shopping and it was almost the same. <laughs> I guess uh, Covid and that has slowed everything down. Looking over to some of the older parts of Nottingham, that's in the, the lace market area. So we're just walking up the main thoroughfare up towards Parliament Square. The last time we came down here it was really empty, wasn't it? I think it still is to a certain extent, but there's a little bit more life slowly coming back. This is the very impressive Nottingham Council House, which was completed in 1929. In 1989, I was awarded freedom of the Council House by the then Sheriff of Nottingham, Tony Robinson, in an award ceremony in the Council House. It is no longer used as Council offices, but serves as the Nottingham Registry Office. We're going to uh, head towards the mothership. Pre-marché. Pre-marché. <laughs> where we're going to look for some uh, birthday presents and maybe even some Christmas presents. Who knows? Last of the big spenders, aren't we? <laughs> Well, a very good morning to you. It's Sunday the 16th of October 2022 and here we are still at the Nottingham Castle Aqua Vista Waterside Marina. This is uh, the mooring spot that we've had. It's been really good. It's a very nice marina. Uh, the staff here were excellent when we arrived chap called Ben who was very helpful 
came round and uh, assisted us uh, in getting into this spot here. It's all very uh, well appointed. We've had uh, electricity and uh, no problems with that. The uh, shower and toilet facilities have been excellent. Everything here that you need really. Being an Aqua Vista customer at Sawley Marina also entitles you to uh, take the Swamp Duck to th o their other marinas and I think there are about 29 of them dotted around the country. We obviously can't go to all of them, they're not, not in suitable places but some are. So I, I intend to try and make good use of that because you can have up to, I think it's 34 uh, nights uh, in their marinas without having to, to pay anything else. So coming here was part of that deal. So far we'll have used four out of our 34. And I've got until next May to do the rest. But Nottingham Marina will be very um, useful to us. There's a couple more that uh, I'd like to go to. One is uh, just past uh, Fagley Junction. We were going to use that if we'd have gone up to the Hare Castle Tunnel. So that's something that uh, we will uh, endeavour to do next year. And then there's also one at Newark. So that could be very useful to us as well. It's a beautiful sunny morning. It's amazing to think this is uh, midway through October. It's been brilliant. That's the entrance to the marina, and the marina office is just over there. You get a security uh, key to get in and out of the marina, so it's very secure. You can moor outside the marina, just there. There are some visitor moorings that we walked uh, past yesterday. So there's the office, um, and they also have a, a chandlery in there, with lots of uh, different things, very useful. Some very nice waterside apartments here. If we look over to the marina, that's great. There are quite a few empty moorings here, that's because they're having these uh, pontoons um, 
mended. I think they've had a bit of a problem with some of them wobbling a bit, so they're being redone at the moment. So that's why they, they're they empty and they've got these notices telling you not to wander onto them. There's a swamp duck. We're slightly sandwiched between quite a large uh, boat there, Miss Ellie, and uh, uh, a Norman um, cruiser, which looks like it's been uh, refurbished. So this is the facilities block, some toilets, uh, there are some toilets at the other end of the marina as well, so there's plenty of those. And then there's a, a room here with a washing machine and dryers. And then there's uh, uh, showers as well. It's all pretty well appointed. Some uh, shower cubicles and a uh, changing area. And then some sinks and so on. All nicely done. The marina is very secure and you need one of the electronic uh, pass things to get in. And to use the facilities you need a British Waterways key. The traffic on the bridge there is just coming away from the Castle uh, Retail Park which has got things like uh, there's a Lidl, there's a McDonald's and uh, a B&M and one or two uh, carpet shops and that kind of thing. So, oh there's a big Sainsbury's too. So there's plenty of opportunity. Oh there's a Pizza Hut. So there's plenty to, to go out there. So it's excellently placed. And just in the distance there, on top of the hill, you can see Nottingham Castle. I hope you enjoyed that video. If any of you have any questions about any of our videos, then please send a comment to our email address, which is e1e 21c3 at gmail.com and we'll try and answer them and we'll put the answers together and make a small video about them. Thank you.